All right, looks like we actually got reeled in. We're going on the raft up top. We're going straight under that waterfall, so let's do it. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another day here in the multi-cab Rusko the Rust Bucket Adventures. So today, because we're still in Hinatuan, we're going to visit the Enchanted River of Hinatuan. It is a very popular blue lagoon to visit and it is time to hit the road if this car will start. We'll get it. Uh, 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 uh. We'll get there eventually. But let's hit the road, check out this Hinatu and Blue Lagoon, and let's have a good time, ladies and gentlemen. Woo, we're going. It seems like we uh, seem to be a little bit stuck here. Oh, oh, we're going, we're going, yeah, we got it. Woo! <laughs> we're starting off the morning by shredding up and doing skids. I thought we were almost stuck for a second then. All right, now we're good to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the Enchanted River. Wow, can you believe this is only 40 pesos entry? This is one of like the best lagoons we have been to for cheapest. Like how beautiful is this water? And as you saw before, I don't know if you can see around this area, but like out in the distance there and over there, there's like a bunch of big, pretty big, decent fish swimming around. So this here is like the main swimming area and the area over there, um, they must open it up every now and then. But we are so lucky that it's just starting to clear up now. But all I can say now, it's time to go for a dip. So believe it or not, this enchanted river is also known as like one of the top destinations to visit throughout the Philippines. But a lot of people don't visit it just because it's so hard to get to. It is very out of the way. It is on the island of Mindanao, which a lot of people don't visit. And as you can see, like from the journey we have taken to get here, it is quite hard, but it is well worth it if you can, guys, because look at this in the water. Oh my God, the water is actually warm. So here we go. First dip in the Enchanted River.
Oh wow, that was so refreshing. Weirdly enough, it's actually, it's like, you look at this, you think it'd be fresh water. It's sort of mixed between a bit of salt and fresh water. Like when you swim in the water, it doesn't look super clear just because it's got that mix. So it, it's kind of got like a murky look, but oh, definitely was a refreshing spot to swim. And right now, it is just Tal and I have it all to ourselves. So out of the whole Enchanted River area, I feel like this spot is the best spot. Like, look, look at all these fish right here. There's a massive fish just hanging around. But this is the spot where you can't swim, so they've like barricaded it off there. Um, and you'll, this is like the first area you'll see too when you walk down. But we've also been talking to some locals before. Apparently you can do boat tours around these areas. Um, I don't know where it exactly takes off. I think it takes off down that way, but it's very cheap. Like for 500 pesos all up, you can do a boat tour to three islands for three hours. Like compared to everywhere else I've been around the Philippines doing boat tours, that is extremely cheap. Uh, me and Tal really want to do it, but we just don't have enough time. So if you are in the area, it's definitely well worth it. And if you can have a few people doing the boat tour as well, then it'll work out to be very cheap in the end. But now it is time to head out and hit the road onto our next destination. So let's go. Alright, so we made it to our next destination, probably our last, last destination for today, and it is Tinuayan Falls. And check it out. Woo -hoo -hoo. And this is only just one of them. Behind it is a bigger and better one, but we'll show you that soon. So let's jump right in. Alright, first thing coming up onto the entrance, one of the guys points out and there's three Filipino green pythons. Oh, there's, uh, there's one right here. That's one. And we got one there. And then we got one on the roof there. Oh, oh wait. May have oh, there's another one. What? There's four pythons just hanging around here. A correction, it wasn't a Philippines green python, it was a Philippines green viper. But yeah, we ended up seeing like six in the end. So we're just signing on our name now and it is only 50 pesos for entrance fee. How crazy is that? These are all so cheap, all the entrance fees for today. Check out this waterfall. I was not expecting to walk on a waterfall this big today. Oh my God, look at it, it's giant. So this day just keeps getting better. So apparently we can actually swim around where the waterfall is. Uh, when we first come to the entrance too, I saw they had like raft rides. I didn't quite understand what that was. But as you saw in the video before, like this little bamboo raft right here, there's these guys all the way out there. They've actually taken that raft under the waterfall. So if you want to pay, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was maybe a hundred pesos. So if you want to pay that little bit extra to get taken out, on the raft, right under the waterfall you can. But if you wanna go swimming, just like me and Tal, that's for free. So let's go for a dip 
in this beautiful giant waterfall. All right, looks like we actually got reeled in. We're going on the raft ourselves. We're going straight under that waterfall, so let's do it. of a better way to end the day with this epic waterfall. What do you think? Oh, that that was, how did you enjoy it? Amazing, absolutely incredible. It was just, I, I hands down think this is the biggest waterfall I've seen throughout the Philippines. And I know the majority of waterfalls I see, I say it's the best, but this, this is easily the best waterfall. And everything is so cheap. So that raft that me and Tal went on, that was 170 pesos split between us. It was insanely cheap. 50 pesos for entry. I think for the whole entire day, we, me and Tal's probably spent five US dollars between both of us. Like, you, you just can't get that anywhere else around the Philippines. It's just insane for having amazing places like this. And majority of it too, barely get any tourists. It is just dead. So if you guys are ever in the area, definitely 100% be sure to check out this waterfall because it is my favorite waterfall in the Philippines now. And be sure to keep following the adventures in the future because there's plenty more to come. So thanks for watching, follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.